Hello everyone, this is a session on general aptitude and in this session we will discuss some of the important questions related to general aptitude for the gate exam. First question, what would be the unit digit in the answer of the given expression 1 factorial plus 2 factorial plus 3 factorial plus etc. 2025 factorial. Okay, first we will see what is 1 factorial. 1 factorial is equal to 1. So what would be the unit digit? Unit digit would be 1. Now, next word is 2 factorial. 2 factorial is this 1 into 2. That is 2. Unit digit would be 2. Now, what is 3 factorial? 3 factorial would be 2 into 3. That is 6. Unit digit is 6. Now, 4 factorial is 6 into 4. That is 24. And the unit digit is 4. Next is 5 factorial. That is 24 into 5. That is equal to 120. And the unit digit is 0. Next, 6 factorial. 6 factorial is 120 into 6. That is equal to 720. Again, the unit digit is 0. So, we can find that if we find any of the remaining factorial. Since there is a 0 in the unit digit, all will have a 0 in the unit digit. Okay. So, all this will be unit digit will be 0. And if we add all this unit digit, we can see that. That is 6 plus 4, 10 plus 3. That is 13. 13 would be the number in if we had all this unit digit. So, what would be the uh, final answer? The unit digit would be answer is 3. So, C is the correct answer. Next question. 5 apple, 6 orange, 7 bananas cost rupees 250. While 6 apple, 4 orange, 2 bananas cost rupees 180. The cost of 4 orange and 8 bananas are. Okay. Now, we can form equations and solve this equation. That is, if we denote apples by A, orange by O and B by banana. Now, 5 apple, 5A plus 6 orange, 6O plus 7 banana, 7B gives 250. Now, we can form another equation. That is, 6 apple, 4 orange and 2 banana. 6A plus 4O plus 2B gives 180. Now, we have to solve these two equations. So, First, we will multiply the equation 1 by 6 and equation 2 by 5. So, what will we get? That is 5, 6 are 30, 30A plus 6, 6, 36, O plus 7, 6, 42, B gives 250 into 6. That is 1500. Okay. Next, we will uh, multiply the second equation by 5. So, we get 5, 6 are 30A plus 5 into 4, 20O, plus 5 into 2, 10B, is equal to 180 into 5, that is equal to 900, 900. So, this is equation 3 and this is equation 4. Now, what we will do? 3 minus 4. So, we get 30 minus 30, that is 0 apple. 36 minus 20, that is equal to 16O, 16O plus 42 minus 10, that is 32B, is 1500 minus 900, that is 600. Okay. That is 16O plus 32B equal to 600. Now, what is to be found? 4 orange and 8 bananas. 4O plus 8B. What is the answer? So, here we can see that 16O plus 32B is 6000. If we multiply, if we divide this, divide this expression, that is expression 5 divided by 4 we get 16 by 4 is 4 orange plus 32 by 4 is 8 b is equal to 600 by 4 which is equal to 150 so 4 orange plus 8 banana is equal to 150 so 150 is the correct answer option c next question a bag consists of 48 red color ball, 30 yellow color ball, 34 white color balls, 6 black color balls and 20 green color balls. How many minimum number of balls are to be taken out from the bag randomly so that we get at least 2 balls of same color. Okay, we have to get, get at least 2 balls of same color and how many num minimum number of balls are to be taken out from the bag. So, what we will do? See how many colors are there? One is red color, second is yellow color. Third, white color, fourth, black color, and fifth, green color. Okay, so we can see that there are five colors which are there red, yellow, white, black, and green. Okay, now 
how many minimum number of balls are to be taken so as to get at least two balls of same color okay if we take five balls then what there is a probability that first ball is red second yellow third white fourth black and fifth green that is we get we can get five balls of five different colors but what if we take six balls if we take six balls first ball can be red second ball can be yellow third ball can be white fourth can be black six can be green then what would be uh, fifth can be green now what would be the sixth ball there is no other color left so this sixth ball can be red or yellow or white or black or green that is the same color one of this color get repeated let it be red so we get two red ball okay so one of this color get repeated for the sixth ball so the minimum number of balls that are to be taken off the ball uh, taken out so as to get minimum two balls of same color is six okay so option c six is the correct answer how many zeros would be at the end of answer 50 factorial okay what is 50 factorial 50 factorial is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into etc into 50 okay now there is 5 in this expression we see that what we 5 into 2 gives 10 so there is 1 0 in this expression now 5 into 4 gives 20 that is another 0 if, uh, now if we do 5 into 6 that is 30 we get another 0 now 5 into 8 we get another 0 that is 40 we get another 0 that is if we multiply 5 by any of the even number we get 10 in the we get 0 in the answer at the end so to find how many zeros are there in this expression we have to find how many 5's are in this expression so that we get if there is a 5 there would be a, if this 5 is multiplied by an even number there would be a 0 in this expression so to find how many zeros we have to find how many 5's are in 50 factorial so first we will find how many 5's are in 50 factorial how many 5's in 50 factorial so what we have to do is divide this 50 by 5 so what we will get 10 now again divide this 10 by 5 we get 2 again divide 2 by 5 that is 0 so how many 5s are there add these two 10 plus 2 that is 12 that means there are 12 fives in 50 factorial and that is equal to number of zeros okay number of fives in 50 factorial is equal to number of zeros in 50 factorial so the number of zeros in 50 factorial would be 12 so the answer is option a 12 next question there are eight balls of which one is defective given that the defective ball is of less weight and remaining are of equal weight what are the minimum number of chance a common balance is used to find the defective one okay there are eight balls we have eight balls one two three four five six seven eight out of which one is defective ball let this ball be the defective ball okay now it is given that this defective ball has less weight it has less weight all the balls all the other balls are of equal weight so we use a common balance to find which is the defective one so what is the minimum number of chances of a common balance so to find the minimum balance first what we'll do take the common balance okay there are two sides out of this eight balls take only six balls okay six balls and keep three balls here and three balls here so there would be two cases first case would be if all these balls are uh, non-defective that is all this ball will weigh the same so what would be the result of this common balance though both the side would be of equal weight so which is where is the defective ball defective ball is the other two balls other two balls that we have not weighed yet if this is the other two ball okay now the defective ball would be the other two balls that we have not weighed yet now we will take the, uh, the other two balls and we will weigh those two balls only okay since all these six balls are non-defective we get that the other two balls that we have not weighed yet is the defective ball now take one ball here one ball here so 
one side would weigh less if this side weigh less that means this is the defective ball okay now how many times so we got the defective ball by using the common balance so how many times we have used this common balance first time here second time here so two times we have used the common balance so minimum number of chances two so this is a case one okay now we can take case two case two that is out of this eight balls or Uh, we have taken six balls and kept two balls aside that is six ball three balls here three balls here so in the first case we have taken that these two balls are of equal weight now we consider that these two uh, these two sides are not equal weight one side is weighing less consider this side is weighing less what does it mean the out of these three balls one is the defective ball okay now we can take only these three balls and weigh again so out of these three balls we will weigh again that is we will keep one ball here and one ball here that is one ball is kept here and the second ball is kept on the other side and we leave one ball aside okay now here also there are two cases if these two ball weigh the same what does it mean that means these two are non defective ball and where is the defective ball this ball is the defective ball that we have not weighed yet okay now again how many times we have used a common balance to find this defective ball one and two two times so the minimum number of times we have used the common balance is two times okay here also we, there is a second case that is we have considered that these two balls are same weight and the third is a defective ball and if in, if in the next case if these two balls are of different weight that is one is weighing less if this ball is weighing less what does it mean out of these two balls this is the defective ball okay and again in this case also we have got the defective ball but we have used the common balance only two times so what is the minimum number of chance for using this common balance is two so two is the correct answer that's all for today thank you